news is your local election headquarters, Rhode Island, known, of course, as the Ocean State for its many beaches and seaside towns. Next month, voters will be asked to approve or deny a bond item that will allow the state to borrow millions of dollars to improve those beaches as well as waterways and parks. Here's 12 News reporter Courtney Carter. Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea gave a breakdown today into one of the bond items that will appear as part of a special election next month, known as Question 2 or the Green Bond. If you filled out a mail ballot application for the 2020 election a few months ago, Rhode Island Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea says her office will be sending them out again soon, this time to approve or deny seven different state bond items. Gorbea held a kickoff event to further introduce Question 2 on Tuesday. It is one that every Rhode Islander will be able to identify with. I'm encouraged by the investments uh, that these $75 million will have. Otherwise known as the 2021 Beach, Clean Water, and Green Bond. The Secretary of State was joined virtually by a group of environmental and labor leaders in the state on hand to show their support of the bond. Later this month, every household will be receiving a voter guide uh, on each of the bond questions. So you're going to be able to either choose whether you want to vote from home using a mail ballot early in person, or you can vote at the polls on March 2nd. Question two on the ballot will give voters the opportunity to approve major investments in clean water, state beaches and parks, outdoor recreation, farmland, and community efforts for climate change. There's a once in a generation investment. Environmental leaders saying it's important, not only for recreation, but in much needed areas impacted by COVID. This bond, when it is passed, will fund uh, projects that will create hundreds and hundreds of jobs, which will help our uh, tourism and hospitality industry, hope, uh, help our food and agricultural sector. You can find more information on this question and the six others on WPRI.com. I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News. Courtney, thank you. And right now on WPRI.com, our Steph Machado explains the seven bonds that voters will consider. She also breaks down how much money will go towards each bond. 